Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. This is Boss Vision where I share with you all everything you need to know about making candles. As you can tell by the title, in my tie-dye shirt, we're going to be making some tie-dye marble candles. I'm super excited. This will be my first time actually doing this. So I thought, what better way to get my feet wet in the tie-dye marbling creative industry than to film it and show you guys how to do it so that you can do it too. It's more of a viral trend on TikTok right now. It's going crazy. So I thought you should also take advantage of this too if you want to expand your your candle business footprint or if you're just at home bored like I'm typically bored and just want to do something really fun then definitely stay tuned for the video if you like videos like this give it a thumbs up it really helps YouTube algorithm push this video this channel to more people and subscribe so many people watch my videos and do not subscribe but hey girl hey what you doing girl subscribe today okay all right let's just jump right into it okay so here's everything you're gonna need to get this mission accomplished so I'm gonna be making three different candles if you want to only make one you can only make one but these are the libby jars i got these from candle science i'll link them down below clear jars are the best for marble candles and then you're going to need some fragrance oil if you would like to burn them and with a scent so i'm using jamaican me crazy for the first one then i'll be using coffee shop for the second one and then i'll be using lush linen super excited about this one it's a really clean scent and then next, you're going to need some wicks. So I will be using the HTP 83s. You can get these off of Amazon and I'll link them also. And with that, you'll need wick centering tools, which are these chip clips I got off Amazon, wick stickers off Amazon, thermometer off Amazon. And then you'll need a rectangular spatula for mixing in, not slapping your fragrance, but you know, gently mixing your fragrance in. Then you'll need some Freedom Soy Wax. Also got this off Amazon. And then you'll need your dye. So I got this dye from Hobby Lobby. It was $2.99. I got Lilac, Peach, and Seafoam. And super excited to try each of these out for each candle. We'll be doing the double burner method. So as you can see here, I have an eye and it has a pouring pot that I would definitely recommend only using this pot for your candle making candle making only and as you can see it just fills up like a half a quarter of a cup I use this so yeah it's like half a quarter cup and then I have an empty pouring pitcher here that I also got on Amazon we'll link that down below so yeah we're just gonna jump right into it okay one last thing you'll need a thermometer here it is okay we're gonna be doing 30 ounces of wax and three ounces of fragrance oil. I'm gonna be using clean cotton here instead of those three previously because I just wanna make it all in one pour instead of three pours. So yeah, just clean cotton from VA Candle Supply. This is also sold on Amazon. I'll link it down below. First things first, we have our scale here. We're gonna turn it on. And then you put your pouring pitcher on there. So now we're gonna be adding in 30 ounces of wax. Just melt that completely down until it gets to 160 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, while that's melting, we're gonna go ahead and measure out three ounces of clean cotton. While the wax is melting, I went ahead and grabbed all three of the jars and wicked them down with two wicks. As I mentioned before, I'm using the HTP 83s. They'll be linked down below. Wick stickers linked down below. The jars, everything you need, girl. I got you, girl. It's in the description.
added in my fragrance oil and carefully poured each candle. Yes, so I poured 10 ounces of wax and fragrance oil in each jar. for about 30 minutes and once I came back I added in the dye as you can see here I'm using the thermometer to sort of swirl it around and then some more some of them I just put the dye directly in there to get a heavier color and it came out so pretty y'all here's how they all came out I went ahead and waited 24 hours before trimming the wigs so definitely comment down below what you think and this ends the video. Please make sure you give it a thumbs up if you haven't already. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in my next one.